let's go to the solution very quickly number 11 resolve 4 minus x over x squared plus 3x minus 3 times x plus 8 into partial fractions now this factor first of all we can see that the fraction is a proper fraction because the degree of the numerator is 1 and that of the denominator if you expand the denominator you see that its degree is 3 so that's a proper fraction now the first this factor is a quadratic factor that cannot be factorized so the numerator of its partial fraction will be the most general linear expression that's ax plus b so ax plus b over x squared plus 3x minus 3 plus this is a linear factor so the numerator of its partial fraction will be a polynomial of degree 0 because this is a polynomial of degree 1 and a polynomial of degree 0 is a constant so let's call it c since we already used a and b now you can add the two fractions this is the lcm x squared plus 3x minus 3 times x plus 8 and the numerator will become ax plus b times x plus 8 plus c times x squared plus 3x minus 3 now the denominators are the same that means the numerators are also equivalent so i can say therefore that 4 minus x is equal to ax plus b times x plus 8 plus c times x squared plus 3x minus 3 so i just want to expand i just want to expand the brackets on the right hand side and that simply means ax squared plus 8ax plus bx plus 8b plus cx squared plus 3cx plus 3cx minus minus 3c now comparing comparing the coefficient of x squared on the right hand side the coefficient of x squared is a plus c so that means a plus c is equal to there's no x squared term on the left hand side so that's the same as us saying the x squared term on the left hand side is 0 x squared so its coefficient is 0 and so my figure 1 now comparing comparing the coefficient of x the coefficient of x the coefficient of x on the right hand side is 8a plus b plus 3c 8a plus b plus 3c equals on the left hand side the coefficient of x is minus 1 equals minus 1 so let's call that equation 2 now comparing the constants comparing the constants on the right hand side the constant is 8b minus 3c and on the left hand side the constant is 4 so 8b minus 3c equals 4 that's equation 3 
Now from equation one, A is equal to minus C. If I put A in equation two, then I'm going to have eight, that therefore means eight times minus C plus B plus three C equals minus one which means minus 8c plus b plus 3c equals minus 1. Minus 8c plus 3c is minus 5c. Let me write it as b minus 5c equals minus 1. Now this becomes equation 4. I can now solve, I can see that equation 3 and equation 4 have b and c, so I can solve them simultaneously. So, equation 3 is 8b minus 3c equals 4. And equation 4 is b minus 5c equals minus 1. Let me multiply this by 5 and this by 3. Just to eliminate c. So, that means 40b minus 15c equals 20. And 3b minus 15c equals minus 3. So I can eliminate c by subtraction. 40b minus 3b is 37b. Minus 15c minus minus 15c is 0. Equals 20 minus minus 3. That's 20 plus 3, which is 23. And this simply means b is equal to 23 over 37. Now, if I put B in equation, in equation 4, that simply means 23 over 37 minus 5C equals minus 1. And that means minus 5C equals minus 1 minus 23 over 37, which means minus 60 over 37 and now if I this is minus 5c if I divide through by minus 5c c will be equal to minus 60 over 37 divided by minus 5 means, means times 1 over minus 5 yeah so minus 60 divided by minus 5 is 12 of course we know that is plus 12 so that means c is equal to 12 over 37 now so what is a okay first of all let me put that c in equation in equation 4 so that therefore means b minus 5c minus 5 times 12 over 37 equals minus 1. That's equation 4. B minus 5C equals minus 1. So that simply means B minus 60 over 37 equals minus 1. Which means B equals minus 1 plus 60 over 37. And that means that means 23 over 37 so that's b now i can i also know that a is minus c so a will be equal to minus what is c 12 over 37 so that's it now i can go to the answer let's say that Let's copy what we resolved it into. Let's put that down here. We already have all of the constants. Now, A, okay, that therefore means 4 minus x over x squared plus 3x minus 3 times x plus 8 equals 
ax plus b a is minus 12 over 37 that's minus 12 over 37 x plus b which is 23 over 37 all over x squared plus 3x minus 3 times no x squared plus 3x minus 3x that's a factor plus c over x plus 8 what is c c is 12 over 37 that means plus 12 over 37 all over x plus 8 so now what do we do i can add i can add these two fractions if you do that this is what you have minus 12 over 37 x is the same as minus 12 x over 37 if you add that to 23 over 37 then you're going to have minus 12 x plus 23 all over 37 minus 12 yeah this is going to become minus 12 x plus 23 over 37 and i can write it simply as 23 minus 12 x over 37. So if you divide this by x squared plus 3x minus 3, that will simply become 23 minus 12x over 37. Divided by x squared plus 3x minus 3 will be times 1 over x squared plus 3x minus 3. So the, re the final result will be 23 minus 12x all over 37 into bracket x squared plus 3x minus 3 plus c to over 37 divided by x plus 8 will also become 12 all over 37 times x plus 8 and that's the final answer that's what you get when you resolve the fraction into partial fractions and that's the final answer so let's go to the next one which is number let's say that number number 13 what's number 13 resolve x plus 3 square divided by x squared minus x plus 7 times x minus 2 into partial fractions first of all this numerator is the same as x squared plus 6x plus 9 and the denominator remains x squared minus x plus 7 times x minus 2 so I can see that it's a proper fraction. The degree of the denominator is 2. The degree of the denominator is 3. So the fraction is still a proper fraction. Now, what do we have when we resolve it into partial fractions? This denominator, x squared minus x plus 7, cannot be factorized. So its numerator will be... The numerator of its partial fraction will be ax plus b over x squared minus x plus 7 plus... This is a linear factor. So the numerator of its partial fraction will just be a constant. C over x minus 2. Now this simply means the LCM is x squared minus x plus 7 times x minus 2. And the numerator will be ax plus b times x minus 2 plus c times x squared minus x plus 7. Now we can equate the numerators. X, the square of x plus 3 is the same as x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals ax plus b times x minus 2 plus c into bracket x squared minus x plus 7 
Now, if I expand the bracket, I'm going to have ax squared minus 2ax plus bx minus 2b plus cx squared minus cx plus 7c. So comparing the coefficients of x squared Comparing the coefficient of x squared. That simply means a the coefficient of x squared on the right hand side is a plus c and on the left hand side is one. So a plus c equals one. That's equation one. Now comparing the coefficient of x. Comparing the coefficients of x, on the left hand side, the coefficient of x is minus 2a plus b minus c. Minus 2a plus b minus c equals, what's the coefficient of x on the, <coughs> on the, right, on the left hand side? That's 6. So it equals 6. That's equation 2. Now comparing the constants comparing the constants the constant on the right hand side is minus 2b plus 7c equals the constant on the left hand side is 9 and that's equation 3 so what do we do from equation one a is equal to one minus c so if i put that in equation two that therefore means minus two times one minus c plus b minus c equals six and that means minus two plus two c plus b minus c equals six which means b 2c minus c is c b plus c equals when this minus 2 goes to the left hand side it becomes plus 2 so that means b plus c equals plus 2 and that means b plus c equals 8 let's call that equation 4 so i can solve equations 3 and 4 simultaneously because they both have b and c so that simply means equation 3 which is minus 2b plus 7c equals 9 and equation 4 which is b plus c equals 8 so let's go okay i can't so i can't eliminate it i can't eliminate yet let me multiply this by 1 and this by 2 to eliminate b that means minus 2b plus 7c equals 9 and this will be 2b plus 2c equals 16. Now we can eliminate b by addition minus 2b plus 2b is 0. 7c plus 2c is 9c. 9 plus 16 is 25. So c will be 25 over 9. 25 over 9. Now, if I put C in equation 4, B plus C is equal to 8. That's equation 4. So that simply means B plus 25 over 9 equals 8. Which means B equals 8 minus 25 over 9. And that simply means 8 minus 25 over 9 what are going to be? That will be uh that's what 72 minus 25 let's check that so we don't make any mistake and have to come back to that so what's that 72 minus 25 that's 47 over 9 
That's 47 over 9. B equals 47 over 9. Now, what else? We need A, and A is minus C. No, A is 1 minus C. So that simply means A equals 1 minus 25 over 9. C is 25 over 9. And that simply means A is minus 16 over 9. Now we have all of the constants. That therefore means uh, this. That therefore means the compound fraction x squared plus the square of x squared plus 3, therefore is equal to ax plus b that means minus 16 over 9 x plus b what is b b is 47 over 9 all over x square minus x plus 7 plus plus c over x minus 2 what is c c is 25 over 9 so that's plus 25 plus 25 over 9 divided by x minus 2 and that is equal to if you add these two fractions you are going to have minus 16x plus 47 over 9 which is the same as 47 minus 16x all over 9 if you divide that by x squared minus x plus 7 that's going to be the same as writing it as 9 to bracket x squared minus x plus 7 plus this of course will become 25 over 9 times x minus 2 and that's a final answer very very simple all right so that's uh, that's it it's always as simple as that now number 15 13 x squared plus 3x plus 9 over x squared plus 1 times x plus 2 that will be equal to first of all you can see that it's a proper fraction the degree of the numerator is 2 that of the denominator is 3 so it's a proper fraction now that's the same as this factor is a quadratic factor that cannot be factorized so the numerator of its partial fraction will be ax plus b divided by x squared plus 1 plus c over x plus 2 and that simply means the LCN is x squared plus 1 times x plus 2 and the numerator will be ax plus b times x plus 2 plus c times x squared plus 1. So that simply means 13 x squared plus 3x plus 9 is equal to ax plus b times x plus 2 plus c times x squared plus 1 and that means ax squared plus 2ax plus bx plus 2b plus cx squared plus c so if you compare the coefficients of x squared comparing the coefficients of x squared a plus c will be equal to 13 let me just write this once. I'm just going to write comparing comparing coefficients and constants. So I'm compare so comparing the coefficients of x squared first of all, a plus c will be equal to 13. That's equation one. Now Comparing the coefficients of x, 2a, 2a, I can say that, plus b, 
2a plus b will be equal to 3. That equation 2. And comparing the constants. The constant on the right hand side is 2b plus c. And on the left hand side it is 9. So 2b plus c equals 9. And that simply means what can we do? From 1. From equation 1, a equals 13 minus c. If I put a in equation 2, that therefore means 2 into bracket 13 minus c plus b equals 3. And that means 26 minus 2c plus b equals 3, which means b minus 2c equals 3 minus 26. And that means b minus 2c equals minus 23. That's equation 4. So I can solve that simultaneously with equation 3. Oh, I forgot to name this. This is equation 3. So equation 3 is 2b plus c equals 9. And equation 4 is b minus 2c equals minus 23. Which means, let me multiply this by... 2 and this by 1 and that simply means 2 that simply means 4b plus 2c equals 18 and equation 2 remains equation 4 rather remains b minus 2c equals minus 23 now i can eliminate c by addition 4b plus b is 5b plus 2c minus 2c is 0 18, min 18 minus 23 is minus 5. And that simply means b equals minus 1. If I put b in equation 3, what's equation 3? 2b plus c equals 9. Well, let's see, can I put this in equation 4? Yeah, 2b plus c equals 9. That simply means 2. If I put b in equation 3, that simply means 2 into back in minus 1. I'm putting it in this equation 2b plus c equals 9 so that means 2 times minus 1 plus c equals 9 and that means minus 2 plus c equals 9 which means c equals 9 plus 2 and that means c equals 11 and i already know that a is 13 minus c so a is therefore equal to 13 minus 11 which is 2 and that's it and I can write the final answer that therefore means x plus the square of x plus 3 divided by what am I doing? I'm doing number 15 that's supposed to be let me just go from here uh, let's copy it from here So this is the yeah this is the final yeah so this is where we are going to substitute a b and c the constant a b and c that means thirteen x square plus three x plus nine divided by x square plus one times x plus two is equal to ax plus b a is 2 that will be 2x plus b plus what is b b is minus 1 so plus minus 1 will mean, will mean minus 1 that's 2x minus 1 over over x square plus 1 plus c over x plus 2 plus c over x plus 2 that's plus 11 over x plus 2 and that's the final answer and it's just